I've got a list of 10 items, all of which are under $30 for homebrewers. These are quality gifts, not crap. This is something that people will use in something related to brewing for the entirety of their brewing career. If you're looking for yourself, I hope you enjoy. And if this is something you might want your significant other to see for maybe a birthday or Christmas, make sure to send them this video. All of these items will have links down in the description below. Item number one is a refractometer. A refractometer is a little device that is used to measure specific gravity. The benefit of a refractometer over a hydrometer is the sample size needed to take a reading is significantly smaller. It's especially helpful for small batches, but really it's a tool used from anywhere from one gallon to a thousand gallon. It's a really effective tool and it just works great. Item number two is a home brewing journal. It actually sounds kind of lame, but really it's actually quite helpful. It's nice to have a consolidated place where all your recipes are, where all your brewing notes are. Unlike me, I use Beersmith, so I print out a page with the recipe, take notes on the page, and then I have to transfer it to my laptop. And honestly, most of the time I end up just throwing it away, so all my brewing notes are gone. With the brew journal, it's cool to have everything just in one place. You can reference from here on out. Item number three is Star Sand. Star Sand is the gold standard for home brewers when it comes to a chemical use for sanitizing equipment, particularly your fermenters. It's just something you always need, and it's something you can never go wrong with. It does expire. To be honest, I don't know how long it is. I know it's more than a year because I've successfully used mine for longer than a year after opening. Item number four is PBW. PBW is a brewery cleaner and it's the gold standard for home brewers. It's really safe to use, it's effective, and it's what I've been using since day one to keep all my equipment nice and clean to then use star sand behind it for sanitizing purposes. You have to have clean equipment before you can sanitize it, thus PBW being an essential piece for every home brewer's needs. Item number five is the book Yeast. This book is written by Chris White, who is the owner of White Labs, the yeast manufacturer, and Jamil Zanishev, who is the former owner of Heretic and longtime home brewing advocate. They put this book together, and really, it goes through every single aspect of yeast a brewer or home brewer would ever need to know. It's one of those books that was really mind blowing for me because it goes into much more than like how to use it, what to do, handling. It it really legitimately covers everything you could possibly want to know for the yeast. And it gave me kind of a different perspective uh, when it came to brewing and how me as a brewer, I'm only creating and setting the stage for yeast to do the thing to make the beer. So brewers make wort, but yeast make beer. And yeast, in my opinion, are the most vital and important part of the brewing process. Knowing how to handle them is key. And it's this book that I still reference to this day having read it years ago. Item number six is another book. It's How to Brew by John Palmer. This is the uh, what I consider also a gold standard for any home brewer learning home brewing. It takes you through every step and it really kind of gets down to the nitty gritty and covers all the basics that you'll need from purchasing equipment, ingredient selection, recipe development, and execution on your first brew day. It's something that can really help you get all the information you need consolidated into one book and it's really really easy to read and something I read before ever brewing my first batch of beer and it's something I recommend to every brand new or new-ish home brewer. Item number seven, chemical resistant gloves. Now these are something that's not necessarily a requirement but having had put my hand in many chemical solutions with PBW and star sand and regretting it instantly that night because of how dry it makes your hands, it's something that I try to use every time when I go to clean my equipment and it's something I recommend other people do. Beyond the dryness of your skin, it's really probably not good for your skin in any way. So protecting yourself using the appropriate protective equipment, PPE, is key. Item number eight is a corny keg gasket kit. If any home brewer uses corny kegs like you see behind me here, they know the gaskets in there can sometimes get old and brittle and break, thus causing you to leak gas or liquid. Or if you've had a previous infection, it could interfere with future batches on infections as well. So for something super cheap, it's like 10 bucks, you can replace the gaskets on a, a lot of kegs. I forgot, I think it's like five. And uh, you're good for at least another year and you never have to worry about it. It's something that kind of goes unnoticed, but it's appreciated. Um, when it's working properly. Item number nine are gamma seal lids. Now these are these screw top airtight lids you can affix to any bucket. I think it's like three and a half gallon, five gallon, and seven gallon bucket. And what, it's what I use for my grain storage. So for all my specialty grains, I'll put them in Ziploc bags and then put them in this to keep them 
fresh longer and keep them away from pests. If you affix one of these lids to a five gallon bucket, you can hold about 25 pounds of grain. So if you wanted to buy in bulk, save yourself some money per pound, you can buy a sack of grain, split it between two of these, and these lids are gonna make sure your grain is kept safe and fresh. Last item, number 10, is a quality hydrometer. Now we talked about item number one, a refractometer, but a hydrometer is required to take a specific gravity reading once fermentation is complete or actually during fermentation. Basically, whatever alcohol is present, you're gonna need a hydrometer to take an appropriate and accurate reading versus a refractometer, which you can utilize during your brew day. So there you go, 10 items, all of each are under $30 a piece for your home brewing needs, or if you're looking for gift ideas for somebody in your life who is a home brewer. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want something like this with a bigger budget, maybe $50, $100, $200, please let me know down in the comments below and I will gladly make the video similar to this. Thanks for watching, hope you got some value, and I'll see you guys on the next video.